Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. So I'm currently in New Orleans. It's so humid right now that my camera keeps steaming up. So I don't know how long you're gonna be able to see me for, but I wanted to start this vlog off. I am now traveling. I left camp, what day is it? It's Thursday, I left camp five days ago. I don't even know, I've, my days are all over the place at the moment. Um, we did two nights in New York, three days, and we've been in New Orleans for three nights now. I just haven't had the time again to pick up my camera and actually vlog and all of this, but I'm getting back into it now. We've had like a couple like chill drinking days, so there wasn't much to vlog anyway. So today, me and Summer are actually going on a little touristy day. We're going to see some sights and see some different things. We thought, what better time than to pick up my camera, even though you're not going to be able to see anything anyway, because look at how foggy the camera goes this is not okay i have got my phone with me so if i have to vlog on my phone for a little bit i will do but ideally i want to vlog on this because i haven't been able to use it all summer so yeah i think it's just me and summer going for the morning we're gonna go get an uber to the french court i think i'm like absolutely sweating look how disgusting that looks yes yeah, so we're gonna get an uber into the french court we're going to like bourbon street we want to go and find the american horror story house just have a wonder because we haven't really seen much we've seen Bourbon Street and the French Quarter on a night out and it was insane. I'm going to insert some clips of how that night off went because it was, oh my god, it was the best. So yeah, I'll want to go and see it in the daytime, get some cute pictures, go for some nice breakfast because I'm starving. found after leaving camp I'm just not eating because camp had food so readily available all the time and now I have to go out and like sort food for myself. I'm just like, oh, I'll eat later and I always, like, I forget, eat, I forget to eat. So yesterday I think all I ate was... What did we have? Oh, we went for a, to a Greek restaurant, which was amazing. Again, I'll insert some photos and videos of that because that was some of the best Greek food I've ever had. We were all like in our absolute element. And like I said, going from camp food to like normal food is like insane. Even though I quite, like I've always said I like camp food anyway, but that food yesterday was like top tier. So yeah, I'm going to take you along with me today and I'll show you what we get up to. <laughs> Say hi to the vlog. Hey vlog. Right, oh, so I want you to show them you tap it. So yesterday, <laughs> we went to, we went to go. Oh no, you can't really see it. We went to go and get tattoos, and I was going to get one as well, but I didn't pussy out. But I also didn't want to. She's paid eighty dollars, and I just couldn't bring myself to do it. But she got the zip code of Tyler Hill. I actually really want. I had so many people message me, you know, being like, "Oh my god, this is elite! Like, this is insane!" So I want to go, but I kind of want to look if there's any cheaper ones because. Oh, she's going to get a tattoo, baby! I do really want some. I kind of want to get one in every place we go to. That, that means just getting every place on your body. Yeah, <laughs> that means getting one in New Orleans, LA, Vegas, and then back in New York. It's definitely doable. Um, so yeah, we're going to Uber to <laughs> Bourbon Street. We want to get the tram at some point, but it looks a bit confusing on how to use. So we're going to Uber there, wander around, and then tram back. Summer got into uni today. Yay, and I'm not going. <laughs> She's not going. <laughs> I feel like I'm such a bad influence. I know you were going to want to do it anyway, but I feel like I'm just influencing everyone to move to Australia with me, and it's really bad. But yeah. Oh, well. So, yeah, I know. So we're just wandering around, we've just gone to Bourbon Street, we've just wandered down. I don't know what to make of this place so far. There's certain spots where we say well, we don't feel very safe. This is one of them. One of <laughs> I felt quite safe when we came for a night out though. I wonder whether that was because there was loads of people. Like we've said it's not even, like it's just on 9 o'clock so we are very early. But we're walking down to like the waterfront now where, oh this is pretty. Yeah but are you forgetting the fact we got back at when we got out there? Oh my god yeah. <laughs> We literally get out of the Uber and the Uber driver was like, oh, be safe. And as soon as we step out the Uber, some random girl just barked at us. It was a girl. And I was like, was it a girl? Yeah. Like, should we walk through the park? <laughs> You're joking me. Right, so I'm going to turn you around and show you some of the cute buildings. Because it is actually really pretty. And just sometimes you just don't feel very safe. But, oh well. This is actually really pretty though. And then I feel like if we walk through this park, this is going to take us down to the cathedral. And then the waterfront. So it is very pretty. Smile. Hello, so it started to rain. The last clip was destroying those donut things and it looking like it was the <laughs> darkest sky behind. So we've stopped off in a little shopping outlet, more thing. None of the shops open till 11. So we're just awkwardly waiting on this really comfy sofa. <laughs> we're trying to walk. I'm happy to walk in the rain. Someone on the other hand is not. <laughs> she was freaking out. So we're going to wait in here until 11 because there's some shops in here that we want to go around. And then we also want to go to the butterfly sanctuary, but I think it's closed. So it's temporarily closed really sad because it looks really fun on a little bit guys but yeah <laughs> just a little update for you all <laughs> we both can't buy anything because we've got so i don't even know if i told the story wait have we even told i haven't even told the saga of us getting here oh this is one hell of a story yeah so we left new york on monday and we just had 
so many series of unfortunate events some of us getting an uber straight there like so you weren't even involved in the stressfulness of this situation so we check out everything's fine nicole the first issue nicole realizes she's booked a flight for two weeks time instead of the day we we're actually flying so we're all checking in for the flight and she says she literally goes so she's like oh there's loads of free seats on this flight we can all sit together and i'm like this the, the flight i've just booked on <laughs> like checked in for did not have all these free like free seats and she goes oh my god i've booked it for the 27th <laughs> i was like <laughs> my idea of hell so she ends up having to pay 200 pounds to change her flight last minute so we then get one train to penn station and then that was fine and then the train from penn station to newark we sat on the train for about 15 minutes and they just cancelled the train and we're like shit at this point we're already late like we've got i think two hours before the flight and this is the one thing i would never do like i hate being late to airports it's just not it's just not what i like doing the options were pay 95 dollars for an uber straight to the airport or wait five ten more minutes to see if the other train gets there and doesn't get cancelled so we wait out and luckily the train gets here we literally get to the airport i think an hour and a half actually it must have been less than that it was an hour an hour before our flight was supposed to leave not even that it was supposed to board that it was supposed to leave we get <laughs> we get to the check-in desk mine and nicole's bags are so over the weight limit like we then literally <laughs> nicole's got her bag open she's got underwear literally flying out everywhere and then i put most of my stuff into sam's bag like his checked bag because he had loads of space so luckily we get our bags down it literally spot on the weight limit like not even like a pound or a kilogram over we get on the, the <laughs> plane fine and then the flight was actually really good it went really fast we landed like 30 minutes early and we get off we get our bags and sam and meg's bags didn't make it through so we're like oh my god literally just issue after issue they're having to make a complaint and like try and track their bags and see where their bags are and i then realized oh my god half of my stuff is now in sam's bag because i couldn't fit it in my own and that was the, the other itch, the issue and then we get to the hostel and they have no recollection of sally's booking which was summer's room and they're just they're just like well we, we don't have it here and they ended up having to call hostel world to work out <laughs> why they hadn't got it oh my god it was just a whole saga now meg's bag arrived back at the hostel yesterday but sam's is nowhere to be seen so i feel like shopping is a good a good solution to this problem because i have no underwear i've literally been wearing bikinis for the past like three days because i have no underwear so that was the sagas and then since we've been here it's actually been pretty smooth touch wood oh someone stole my airpods actually i think that's another issue to add to the plate we're hoping that was all the issues done on the first day and that we're not gonna have any more the whole trip but we've realised it's going to be me and Summer for most of the rest of the trip because it's us booked in for a hostel in LA for the next three nights yeah. after in tomorrow. So we fly to LA tomorrow, which is insane. <laughs> oh no. We go tomorrow. Oh no. We're going to be there at like five o'clock tomorrow. Just I'm so excited. Tomorrow we'll be getting a lot yeah, of stuff ready to go to the airport. I'm buzzing. I'm so excited. And then we're going to Universal on Sunday. We've got two days at Universal because they're doing some really good offer. Like buy one day, get one free. Fun, stress, the loves of travelling. So <laughs> we've come to an aquarium spontaneously. So it's gonna be too loud. Yeah. Wow. So we wandered around that first shopping mall. I bought a little bag from Lulu and then we're gonna to go to the outlet after this. But we just stumbled across an aquarium and we thought why not? This is so fun. <gasps> it's a ray. This is so much fun. I literally love aquariums. There's a zoo as well, but it's kind of like not the best weather to go to a zoo. So we thought let's come to the aquarium. <laughs> this is so much fun. We've had such a good day, and I, I think everyone else is just like chilling back at the hostel. And we're going to meet up later to maybe go bowling and to the cinema. But we just thought, you know, what, I'm so glad we came out and actually did something because I couldn't spend another day at the hostel. I was like, just kind of like so over it. So yeah, we've come to this really cute little aquarium. Um, like I said, we had breakfast earlier. I'm not hungry at all. And then we'll probably go for a little shop at the other place and then just have a wander back around. But yeah, this is so fun. I'm freaking out. This aquarium is actually insane. We just went and did like a virtual reality shark thing, which was so good. But there's like, I've never seen. I know. I've never seen an aquarium like this. Like it's insane. And it's massive, isn't it? We thought we were finished and we were like, oh, it's over already. And then we've just walked out and there's like a whole other section. 
We've just seen jellyfish. Oh my god, that's our oh. <gasps> look. <laughs> Guys, this is insane. We're having the best time. Literally the best time. We're just wandering around. Right, we are at the airport. I can't remember what the last thing was that I vlogged. But yeah, she's <laughs> literally taking photos of me. I'm like, no paparazzi, please. So yeah, we went shopping yesterday. I think the last thing I spoke about was when I updated everyone in the mall. And we didn't buy too much, did we? I bought a little bum bag from Lululemon, which probably wasn't a, a wise purchase. Then they left the security tag on. We had to like cut the security tag off because obviously I couldn't get through security at the airport with it on. And now it's ripped the inside of the bag. But luckily it was inside, so it wasn't too bad. And then we bought some makeup. That was so good, the makeup part. We had a great time. And then we went to the aquarium, which I think I showed. Wait, what did you even vlog yesterday? I can't remember. So yeah, we're currently at the airport. We fly to LA in two just under two hours an hour and a half so i'm very excited yeah so yesterday was just a really nice day exploring and we came to the airport pretty early today because i mentioned that sam lost his bag and meg's bag came back to the hostel but sam's didn't and like i said a lot of my stuff was in sam's bag so a few of us came early we sorted his bag out it was all fine it was just here the whole time and then we just went and had food and we're just gonna wait to board our flight i don't know if there's much else to update you on but we booked a load of other stuff last night we booked our hotel for LA there's like a big group of us like 11 of us staying together which is gonna be so much fun so yeah it's all just going very well I think I'm most excited for this part of the trip like New Orleans was amazing but this is where I'm like most excited like LA Vegas San Diego then back to see my mom in New York I'm just so excited so yeah I'll update you when we get on the plane I think we're all sitting separately we all booked our flights like our tickets separately and we winged it on the way here and loads of us were sat next to each other but on the way like now to LA I don't think any of us are sat together which is fine I want to edit a video anyway so it's quite nice to be sat by myself but like I mentioned my airpods got stolen so Tom's giving me some like fake airpods like you know the ones you can just buy from like Amazon and they're like massive so they're not really fit in my ear but I went to look at just buying a new pair they're like $200 and I can't bring myself to do it I'm just so upset that they were stolen but oh well it is what it is all right we're going into the bathrooms which I probably shouldn't be vlogging going in but some said they're the best bathrooms that I'll ever see oh wow Marvel. Okay, this is nice. I'm gonna have to take some selfies in here. Also, look, this is how you get your sore. <laughs> and then this is the thing. <laughs> I actually can't deal. This is cute. Also, guys, how cute are these flares I bought from um, Airy? Hello, guys. So, we're at the place. You're not going to go to anything. These are the massive airpods that I was telling you about that Tom had to let me because my airpods were stolen. I'm currently editing my videos. And we've only got really 30 minutes left of this flight. And I don't want to get the guy in the background seat, but the lighting is really bad anywhere else. Um, but then we'll land in LA, and I don't know how we're going to get to the last stop, I don't know how we're going to get to the last stop, I think we're going to probably just do that. And then maybe go up for some dinner, our flight was delayed by like two hours, so that wasn't ideal. They meant to change gates, we had to go the whole other side of the airport because of some mix up. So we're going to go in the bath, we're delayed, so we're not going to get in until I think like 7 30 now, we were supposed to get in at 5. So yeah, I'll probably just go for dinner, some dinner and get an early night because we want to do like an early like hike um, to the Hollywood Hills tomorrow morning. So I'm going to get in at like 5. So I'll update you when we get to the airport, if we get any little, how we get to the hostel, and then I'll show you around the hostel because it looks so cool. And yeah, I'm just so excited to get to LA now. Like, I'm so excited, I'm freaking out. Hello guys, so it is the next day and what did I even vlog yesterday? Oh, I think I said I was going to vlog when we got to the hostel and <laughs> some are still not convinced on the hostel. It's like, I can't even describe it. It's like the quirkiest place I've ever seen. I'll have to do like a little overview room. <laughs> I say room tour, but I don't really know how to describe it. It's not one room. I mean, it's not Lord's room. It's so strange. So it's like a pod chair hostel. But as you walk in, it's just into the room. Like it's one big room with like 10 beds, would you say? Yeah, I think it's pretty cool, but it is a little bit, a little bit it's just cool it's just different and yeah so it's now currently 6 a.m and we're walking to do the runyon canyon hike up towards the hollywood hills and we're just walking down all the stars we're having a great time um there's not many people out which is quite nice but the people that are out again it's like new orleans it's just mm, a little bit scary sometimes but we're fine and the sun's coming up now so as we left okay. it was still like wait we've seen that one already there's so many stars that we're seeing on the floor that are repeats. I like that was John <laughs> Stop. So yeah, we're just wandering around. I can't believe we're in LA. I feel like it still hasn't hit me yet. I feel like once we start doing some, some things that we know are to do with LA. Because at the moment, I'm just like, oh, we're just walking down the road. But today we want to do, like I said, we're going to do this hike. We're only going to be a couple of hours. I'm going to go back, like, shower up. And then we say do, like, Beverly Hills, Rodeo Drive. 
and then go to Santa Monica. I'm so excited. Yeah, I can actually cry. They had all of our friends had such a nightmare because, like I said, these three days is like when we've kind of split a little bit. So me and Summer are together for three days. Meg and Sally are in a hotel for three days, and then four of our friends went to hire a car from the airport, and they were going to drive to San Francisco. And they get there and they won't let them have the car because they haven't got an American credit card to put the car down with. So there's a funny story I actually need to tell you about what Tom told me happened last night. So it was all just a little bit crazy. So, but they're all sorted. They ended up having to just put themselves up in a motel in LA somewhere, like so last minute. They were still at the airport at like half 11 last night, which is such a pain. But we're all here now. I think a few of us are gonna meet up today. We've got Universal tomorrow. Oh, but it's tomorrow, I could cry. I think I'm most excited for Universal. So yeah, I'll vlog when we're hiking, if we're hiking. I'm tired already, this is not gonna go well. So, <laughs> I was gonna say we've made it to the top. Uh, we pretend. Morning, we Can we just pretend and, and then come back down? This is one of the prettiest hikes, but it's gonna take us a while and we're absolutely exhausted. And I've got converse on. Yeah, that wasn't very clever to be fair. I mean, my shoes aren't great. Yeah. Swap halfway. Chill it, put one of each on. <laughs> but the view at the moment, I'm gonna show you the view, it looks insane. But there was two, there's an east and a west. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> There's an east and a west trail, and we think we've come up the wrong one. Well, not the wrong one, but the harder one. We should have come up the easy one and gone down the hard one. But here we are, we're too, we're too far gone Live, now. laugh, love. Live, laugh, love. But yeah, so, it's been fun, and it's nice seeing the sun come up. We literally left and it was still pitch black. Crazy. It's actually weird, let me show you the view. We're actually being um, Sophia and Chintzia for the day. It's actually so pretty. So we've worked out the Hollywood sign is literally over this hill. So at some point we will see it. And this is all just like downtown LA. Tired. <laughs> so pretty. Guys, I think it's only just hit me that we were in LA. Like literally just, oh my god, look at all the palm trees down there. And that's what I just said. Ah! This is so fun. I don't think I've like fake screamed so much in my entire <laughs> life. Like it must be so I mean, annoying. It's fake now. <laughs> I think genuinely like the excitement's just getting that much we just can't stop screaming can't st oh my god i can't stop screaming i'm gonna edit this video back and be like what am i doing why am i screaming every five seconds we were like that on the airplane yesterday oh my god. i kept turning around every five minutes because victoria was behind me and i was like we're nearly there we're nearly there we're nearly there and then to meg i was singing party in the usa and she was like oh my god it was like, this, so this fun. child will not shut up it was so fun the flight was actually so fun like the last 20 minutes we're actually wicked because like i said obviously our flight was delayed by nearly like three hours i think it was in the end we were supposed to land at five and we actually ended up landing as the sun was setting and i'll insert any like photos i had but like the sky looked so cool didn't it, it was like pink and purple it was gorgeous this is insane i don't know how many times i can say that but here we are i really want to see that wow do you know the um multi-million pound house they made on Salenton's oh my god yeah where the pool was like all the way around the house Oh, I know which one you mean. I know which one you mean, yeah. Yeah, we want to go to the Oppenheim group and um, relive our Sunday Sunset dream. That would be such a cool job. I would love to do that. I literally would love it. So, guys, we're on the route back down. We've had, literally, we've just said we've had the funniest morning. I stacked it so hard down the hill. I don't know if I actually recorded what the hill looked like. It was, like, really steep and it had, like, loads of random little steps. And I literally fell so hard and cut my elbow doesn't even look bad now should have kept the blood there we've literally had so much fun Sympathy. we've been walking for 76 minutes to be exact summer timed it on a apple watch we're gonna go get some breakfast i really fancy like going to like a nice cute breakfast spot google then google and i'm starving but this has been so much fun it literally felt oh my battery's gonna die that's so sad i need to put my battery on charge when um i get back so yeah it felt like it took us three years to get up to the top and then like no time at all to get down but I've had so much fun, I'm so glad we did it. You know when you wake up and you're like debating, mm, do I get up early and do all of this? And it was the best decision ever. Breakfast time, I'm actually starving. What was the last thing we ate? Oh, I didn't eat since Yesterday lunch at the, at the airport. Because we got to the airport really early, like I mentioned, because we went to try and sort Sam's bag. And we ate at maybe like 12, and I think we had M&Ms and Pringles in bed last night yeah. at the hostel, and that was it. So I'm starving. So we'll show you what we get. Right, guys, so we made it to our breakfast spot. I need to show you what Summer's ordered for breakfast. Wait, why is it not focusing? It kept doing this. Talk us through what you... <laughs> this is not okay. It's a pancake platter, right? And what's all of this? This is not focusing. It's making Vegan, me really Vegan, Nutella, sad. cream, ice cream, berries. Yum, this looks so good. And I got a breakfast burrito. That's not focusing. 
Right guys, so we're back at the hostel and um, I just had a brilliant idea to do my little room tour now because no one's actually here and I probably won't get this again because I don't just want to like film while people are just in their beds. This is what I want to explain why this is such a strange concept of a place that we're staying. Like I said, someone's actually not too impressed. Oh, I think it's really, oh, it's really cool. Yeah, it's just the cameras. Yeah, that is a weird it's issue. Yeah. yeah. So this is the front door. The, literally the road is right here. This is the only thing that creeps me out a little bit. Hollywood Boulevard, I thought that was someone else then but it's me in the reflection of the mirror. Hollywood Boulevard is literally the main road just here. Like we're just on a side road down and this is the main road and this is the door you literally walk into and then this is our bed. I say our bed. We are sharing it. So it's just, it's a little bit strange that this is the setup anyway but let me turn you around so you can see it properly. So like I say, this is as you walk in. Here's the lovely summer. And then there's a bunk bed up here. See, look, this is me. TV cameras for like, yeah, I'll explain that in a minute. It is a really cool spot. And like, there's really cool mirrors everywhere. And it's just really fun. And then like, there's loads of like beds. It is really cool. Right? And this is where summer is. This is what makes me laugh. It's this, like, it is bigger than you expect. But it's just funny. Like, it makes me laugh. Big table. Um another load of mirrors like there's loads of tvs in here and i'm not gonna lie the shower is actually really nice like the bathroom in here is really cool there's me again um so yeah this is all actually really nice like it is good it's just a bit of a strange setup so yeah this is what i meant by it's just a little bit different to what we're used to and i just haven't experienced something like this i think it's cool but then today like from 10 o'clock the, these doors were just left open because people were just like here working which is fine but my stuff was literally like here and the doors here so yeah it is cool and the location is perfect i think we paid 130 pound for three nights and to be on the hollywood boulevard literally like we've walked most places today it's been really ideal like location can't fault it's just set up's a bit fun it's really cool though. it rem reminds me of like an apartment loft somewhere and it is fun that there's only like 10 beds in here there's not 10 people in here though we've literally seen maybe like one or two people so it is nice we've kind of got the place to ourselves but the cameras are a little bit strange there's cameras everywhere which i like in terms of safety but in terms of privacy you don't get any like we called i'm gonna come back in here we called um when we first got here we got here late obviously later than expected because our flight was delayed and someone's on the phone to someone that runs the hostel and he lets us in the front door with the key code and then bless you and then all of a sudden he's like oh, i'm gonna give you a tour whilst i'm on the phone just like walk you around because it's not very big he's like oh and as you can see like the bathroom's here and you can see a girl coming out of there right now and as he said it this girl just walks out of the bathroom and he could tell that she was coming out because of the cameras and i just think that's a little bit strange but like i say security wise it's fine like it's fine but like there's cameras literally everywhere which I guess isn't too bad i've never just i think it's just because i've never known hostels to be like it the beds are really comfy and the space is really good like apart from summer how do you think your space is um do you know what i've got so much room have you it's like so spacious it's I amazing fit seventeen thousand of us in <laughs> then that's why i'm quite excited we've spent three days here and then we spend three days at that nice hotel it's going to be unreal like the hotel we're staying at is the marriott by the airport got three rooms 11 of us go in and there's like a big pool like it's going to be a more of like a luxurious part of the holiday hello guys so we're back at the hostel my camera died while we were at breakfast did you did you take any photos because i took like one i think so i'll have to insert the photos of breakfast because it was actually such a cute spot it was called the breakfast club and it was literally two roads down from our where we're staying and it was really nice and some of the biggest pancakes i think i've ever seen you bought back like most of them didn't you they're in the fridge then i had a breakfast burrito and it was actually so good so we just came back and we showered and we got ready and we're gonna head out to beverly hills i think meg and sally came down they've just gone out to the same breakfast spot because they haven't eaten yet so we're just chilling for a little bit because we obviously woke up really early this morning so then we're gonna go get the bus to beverly hills and then there could be something exciting happen that could happen later on tonight which i don't think i'm gonna talk about until it actually happens because yeah. It would just be more fun if I just like start the vlog and it's happened because that would be insane. So yeah, I'm not going to go into too much detail. We're going to go for a wander. There's not much else that I think we've got planned. Just really have a little, have a little wander. This is our little bed by the way. I do want to show you the hostel. Shall I? No, I'll do it when it's a bit quieter because I don't want to just put a camera in people's face. And I can't even describe this place to you. It's just like, yeah. Um, Hello. 
yeah, it is very LA, like apartment loft vibes, which is very cool. Like, I will leave the links to it down below because it is really fun. And there's like loads. I've got one in San Francisco, one in San Diego. Like, there's a few of them around, and they are really cool. And it was so cheap to stay here, and we're literally on Hollywood Boulevard, so I can't fault it at all. So yeah, I will catch up with you when we meet with Megan Sal. They both want to be in the vlog, so <laughs> I'll introduce them. I don't think they've been in the vlog yet, actually. It's just been you. It's literally just been you. So yeah. Oh my god, guys. We just went to the Oppenheim group and we tried to live out our selling sunset dream. Didn't quite go to plan, but we still, we bumped. Actually, do you want to tell the story? I feel like I've spoken for too long. Place this way because the light is bad. So, we was, this guy walked past and he was like, Do you want us to take photos? Someone thought he was David Beckham. I thought it was David Beckham. <laughs> and um, he said basically he owns an aesthetic clinic down the road and all of the selling sunset people go there. And we looked on the Instagram page and it's like full of famous people that go there. So basically, he said if we come back on Monday, <laughs> it, well, DM him, we'll arrange a little meet with one of the girls on Monday. Because apparently she's got an appointment on Monday. And Stay I'm tuned like, for Monday. Stay yeah. tuned. We don't actually know who it is yet, but it's going to be a surprise. And then we're thinking we can just then walk back down to the office and just be walk, walked in and go and sit and meet everyone. Imagine that. Imagine if we got a sit and tie. That's what? I want to just go and sit on one of the desks. Or, um, I'm done. Halfway <laughs> I can't actually buy a house. So yeah, we're just coming to get a drink because it's really, really hot. And then are we going to Uber it to Beverly Hills, do you reckon? Yeah. Wow. And then like we're going for a shot. Um, I know I'm in LA. I feel like I'm in GTA. Well, she keeps saying she thinks she's in GTA. Oh yeah, she felt like I'm in LA now though. But <laughs> oh, that was insane. Yeah. We made it. We made it. We're at the sign. Beverly Hills. Sunny. We're having a little photo shoot, as you do. I'm just sweating like an egg. Beautiful uh, chili. Very pretty egg. <laughs> oh, a poached egg. <laughs> oh, a little poached egg. So yeah, we got an Uber straight here. We're gonna go and walk down Rodeo Drive and then have a little wander on the shops. I think maybe go to the Beverly Centre and do some shopping. But we're here. The one and only Salsta. Just have a pose. Get it girl. Get it. We actually still can't believe we're going to Universal tomorrow. I could cry. I'm so fucking excited. And we were like, oh let's maybe just do like a half day. Oh no. no, I think we're going from open to close. I think we should be there for like 8.45. It opens yeah. at 9. I'm so excited. So, yeah. How cute. Look where we are. Hey. So, this is my trip. We're on right now. This is the Sasha. Wow. I'm just here walking with my 25 cent water. <laughs> You really fit in. <laughs> I'm really feeling like this is where I'm meant to live, you know? I am perfectly here. I'm obsessed. My thoughts from Sheen. <laughs> it's, it's cute though, like she's cute. Would you have a neck? No. She's cute. You, would have. you can't see me. Oh, you can. Right, what did I last vlog? I'm so bad at this. We are on the way back to the hotel because we are absolutely done in. What time is it? It's <laughs> 7 o'clock. We've been up since 5. Yeah. We did try a nap earlier. No, but we didn't. I mean, we Stop said we were going to, and then Meg and Sally were like, oh, we're on the way. I was like, okay then, so no nap for us. And tomorrow's going to be a long day as well, because obviously we're going to Universal, but I'm so excited. I'm running on too much energy for that. Like, it's going to be so fun. <laughs> the thing that we said might be happening tonight is now happening tomorrow. So I'm just going to take you there. It's going to be insane. So I'm just going to take you there and show you what it is, and then just explain the story when it all happens. We literally said most of the things we wanted to do the whole time in LA we've done today. The hike we did this morning was insane. Then we obviously went and did Beverly Hills, Rodeo Drive. We saw the Beverly Hills sign. We got some really cute pictures. We've been shopping. We've been out for good food. We've eaten so good today. Like, such good food. What else was on our list of things we wanted to do? Obviously, Universal. Santa Monica. Santa Monica, which we're going to do when we... So, I think I've mentioned on Monday, three of the lads from camp get here. And there's, like, 11 of us staying in this big hotel together. So, that's when it's going to be good that we're all in the same spot. And we're going to have, like, more, like, chill pool days, beach days. Because we've done all of our... What, touristy bit now already if we do anything tonight that's really exciting i'll let you know but i think we're just gonna go get to comfy clothes pick out an outfit for tomorrow i think we should do oh yeah actually so that we know what we're wearing i really don't know what to wear oh my god someone was literally ill most of the summer i don't think like, anyone even knows that what was your first illness tonsillitis she like she was so poorly and though i had an allergic reaction to the antibiotics oh, they gave us. and she was like and had, red everywhere and then i had tablets for the cough that i had and then that made me faint oh my god yeah then you had to go to the hospital. Yeah, then I ended up in the ER for the full day. I've been and didn't they do like every C test known CT to man? CT scan, x-rays. It's insane. Um, no one knew what was wrong with her. Blood tests, you write something. You name it, I had it. But you're all right now, aren't you? So yeah, little update. My hair stayed 
surprisingly intact. I'm just gonna have to wear my hair like this again tomorrow because I can't wear my hair down at theme parks, it just annoys me. Oh my god, guys! <laughs> Crying and screaming. Guys, we made it. Yeah. Where are we? Universal, Universal. baby. Universal. Universal. I'm actually crying. It seems relatively quiet, but I don't want to jinx it. <laughs> and it'd be like, oh, yeah, look at the donuts in this place. Oh, I love frozen yogurt. Frozen yogurt, not yogurt. <laughs> Guys, I'm literally Ow. so excited. Don't anybody go ham on it. Yeah, I, I could eat, but I don't really want to. Harry Potter. Oh my god. Yeah, so we literally just got here. We booked two days, so we've got the tickets that are, oh my god. We've got the tickets that's like, it was buy one, get one day free. So we're doing like a full day today, and then um, just do like an afternoon if we have time to do like any other time. I'm going oh, I'm just freaking out. I'm thinking that I'm going to get enough content today to literally put this into its whole own vlog because I'm gonna just be like constantly wanting to video stuff. And we've discovered someone's never been to a theme park before, which is insane. She's been to, what did you say, Flamingo Land? Where is Flamingo Land? Like, two hours away from me. Oh, okay. So this is for her, it's gonna be mega. And I literally said what's more exciting is seeing her reaction, like freaking out. But she's also never watched Harry Potter, so when she sees the Harry Potter section, her expression's gonna be like dead to the world. But it's not. Well, I mean, you know of it and you know what it looks like, so it's gonna be fun. But yeah. I'm actually crying. There's a shark in the water. Please remain seated at all times. Keep your arms and legs fully inside the vehicle. There is a shark out there. Oh, it looks like George is out there. George is our diver. It's his first day, everyone. Right guys, we're currently in Sephora. We've had the absolute best day ever. We've just, we're just absolutely delirious at this point. I'm not gonna lie, we've just spent so long taking so many photos in all the shops. I'm gonna have to show you some of the photos because they were absolutely hilarious. Yeah, I literally said earlier, I was like, oh, I'll probably have enough content today to just be able to vlog and make one whole vlog out of just this one. And here we are, I barely picked up my camera because we're just having too much fun. And I didn't want to keep whacking my camera out when there was loads of people around because it just get a little bit stressful. But yeah, they're just having a wander around the shops. We're gonna grab, I wanna get a Voodoo Donuts because it's one of my favorite donuts places and then we're gonna head to this location <laughs> that we're going to tonight we have actually had the best day I've had so much fun I haven't been to Universal Hollywood since I was maybe like eight or nine I've been to Universal Orlando quite a few times and it is very similar but I prefer this one so much more it's a lot more about like the movie making and there's a lot more fun rides and shows and we've got two days here we can come back for another day whenever we think we're gonna come back for like an evening maybe on Wednesday and just come later come for like the afternoon and then go for dinner in the evening I'm so excited to go to this new hotel I think I've said that so many times already but just have like a pool we're having a full pool day tomorrow and then just going out for dinner and maybe watching the sunset on the beach and I cannot wait. Right guys, the light and it might be a bit too loud as well. Someone's gonna explain. I've got a really bad spot here. Someone's gonna explain what we're about to do after we get your donuts. Take it over. So, <laughs> so we came to get some donuts at Voodoo Donuts. Um, what's it called? Voodoo Donuts. No, I know, but like where we at? Oh, City Walk. City Walk. And then we're getting a lift to... I don't know what I am! <laughs> to uh, Mansion and the Hollywood Hills. <laughs> 
<laughs> and Meg's family friend lives there, he's Scottish, um, he's famous, he's on the TV. He's on the telly. He's on the telly. He's on the telly. And we are going there, we can't tell you the location, but we can't tell you that it is. the location ourselves. the Hollywood Hills, baby. But it's got a pool and apparently it has one of the best views on the Hollywood, Hollywood side. side. So, so Banging we're going to die. Yeah, I want to get some clips. It's going to be fun. Oh, this feels weird. So, uh, oh. like, comment, and subscribe <laughs> if you think I should get a YouTube channel. <laughs> Someone was going to vlog. But I feel like even just from seeing the way she holds the camera, she should not. <laughs> so, we'll show you what donuts we get. We want to get a few. What are you saying? I don't know, babe. I don't know, babe. You don't know, babe. You get the apple fritter. That does sound like it, to be fair. I want some peanut butter and some chocolate. I'm just really craving some at the moment. Like, comment and subscribe so we can actually afford it. <laughs> Rude. Oh, it's just the hills in the background. Yeah, it's really cute. It. <laughs> and he just dropped my camera. <laughs> that would have been really bad. But I was literally just sat drinking champagne at the most okay, um, unbelievable that's house. What's done here? The champagne I've twisted. I think you're thinking of um, the other one. <laughs> Not that one. God, is it true? Look at the view. Can you even see the sign in the back? We're going to go for a little swim. Spice Girls. We're actually questioning how we've ended up here. <laughs> this is like the best thing. So can't. he's warming the hot tub up for us. So we're gonna get in the hot tub. Oh, the taste. Just vibes in. It is the best. The best view of the world. It'll be fine. It actually is. It actually, it actually is. is. I'm only worried if I catch. Yeah, someone got her a tattoo like what three days ago? Three days. Can't swim. Can't swim. So yeah, we just vibes in. We're having some champagne. We're listening to some music. <laughs> having the best I time. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. We're saying I don't know how like Meg pulled it out the bag with this one. Yeah, thanks, Meg. You've actually pulled it out the bag. I provided good. She provided. She pulled through. She pulled through. But this is our life for the night. Have fun. Oh, hi, baby. Is this yours? No, okay. Cheers, everybody. This is like. Ali, Ali. Cheers. Cheers. Love you guys. This is insane. I can't even. Just oh, oh no, bro. You know when you just like I mean, contemplate how you've ended up in this place? Yeah. But we're all just too awkward right in. now. I'm not going to question it. No. Everything just happened. went too amazing. Two, no, 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 not yeah, no, two. No, two amazing. Like, it's just gone amazingly. It just, and we deserve it. I don't we mean two. It. I mean like... This is just everything. It's just very perfect. <laughs> Did we think we'd literally be oh. here? Sat in a hot tub. Sorry, well, I can but, literally see the Hollywood sorry, sign. It's literally there. Three weeks or... I was plunging toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, and now, I'm living the dream. This is like <coughs> we're living the high life, baby. I'm two glasses of champers deep. And I'm about to pour it. The more you live it, it, it's going down too well. The more you attract it. Let's yeah, yeah, put it out there. Yeah. She's on the next one. Get one. it, girl. All right, let's just take it easy now. Take it easy. What did you say? Oh wait, they've got crisp. Right. We'll update you when we're four glasses in. Oh yeah. See you later. Okay. How about so, so we, someone's gonna update you all. <laughs> we finished. Oh, sorry, I'm not looking at the camera. We finished our first bottle of champagne. Um, Didn't done too well, guys. We've got a lot of photos, and now what we're gonna do is chill, chat, Look. and swim in the pool. I just feel so happy to be here. Yeah. yeah. Like honestly, so happy to be Such here. You know, I don't feel happy. I feel grateful. Grateful. I just feel blessed. Oh, I feel blessed. <laughs> 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 Sally to come in and say that. Sally. 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 Four glasses of champagne to eat, and I'm in a hot tub. And bear in mind, we haven't drank champagne in never. I'm a, I'm a prosecco kind of girl. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the champagne just hits different. And like, you don't drink like good okay. alcohol it's whilst you're at camp. Yeah. It's the second best swimmers I've ever had in my life. And the first, the, yeah, that Mediterranean spot was so good. Yeah. It's getting a bit steamy, but yeah. So we'll see in our view. Can you see it on the camera? Mm. You can a little bit behind the tree. Yeah. Like yeah. That. It does, when it gets fully dark, it's like fluorescent. They painted it with some like fluorescent paint. So it can be seen. The sky looks <laughs> insane, guys. We're just having the best time. Ever. <laughs> Good morning guys, so I just want to round this vlog off here, I spent all night editing, I don't think I went to sleep till like 2 and the video was so long and I've literally only got through like my New Orleans section and 
half of LA so I was like you know I'm gonna split it now because I actually managed to get so much content over the past few days that I thought it's best to split and then just keep splitting if I need to so I'd rather do more shorter vlogs than just like one that's like two hours long because it just won't be enjoyable to watch and I want to get one uploaded now while I'm here and I've got good wi-fi last night by the way it was one of the most incredible nights actually the whole day was just insane like going to Universal and then being able to go to Meg's up family friend's house in the hills and just literally have a girly night and drink champagne in the hot tub and just chill I've, honestly oh, we were all just so happy to be there and we're just so grateful that we ended up in the place that we did and it was just insane so I'm gonna start this vlog off like I say today anyway and I'm gonna vlog today and the next few days in LA and then we go to San Diego and then Vegas and then back to New York so I've got a lot planned but I didn't want to make this vlog too long so yeah thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video